Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Hi there, everyone. I'm going to be doing a podcast on lucid dreaming. Now, it'll be an article. Probably put it in the sciences. It is called A Technique to Control Your Dreams Has Been Verified for the First Time. I've loved lucid dreaming ever since I was a kid. It would happen randomly. And then just about my teenage years, 16-ish, I started looking into it. I probably got real good at it at one point. Practice it from time to time, you know, learning the little tips and techniques. And then when at a certain time of my life, things kind of fell apart, you lose the talent or the, not the talent, you lose the tips and tricks that key you into lucid dreaming. So I've had them, but I've never, it's been hard to initiate them, maintain them, keep them on a regular basis. So this was a article I flagged. I thought it'd be interesting. I'll begin reading it. It's by Stefan Luntz. A technique to introduce lucid dreaming has been independently verified for the first time and might be even more effective when combined with others. More than half the participants lucidly dreamed during the trial, a record-breaking success rate in just a week without using external intervention. There's a link for that, it's highlighted. I'll post the article in the description. Lucid dreaming is the term given to the state where the dreamer is aware they are dreaming and has some control over how the dream progresses. Once considered a myth, science has confirmed lucid dreams exist and found some methods work to increase the prospects people will have them. Nevertheless, Some of these require advanced equipment, while others are far from reliable. This is unfortunate both because people enjoy the dream so much, and they are also considered a potential tool for healing traumas and controlling unhealthy behavior. Dr. Denholm Aspie of the University of Adelaide wondered whether combining techniques would bring greater success. Aspie instructed 169 participants in techniques developed to induce lucid dreaming. One of these, reality testing, gets people into the habit of regularly checking to make sure they really are awake. Mnemonic Induction of Lucid Dreams MILD, has participants set alarms to wake them up uh, to wake up after five hours and recite the next time I am dreaming. I will remember that I am dreaming before going back to sleep. M L M I L mild. <laughs> Jeez. Practitioners also imagine what it would be like to be in a lucid dream. So these are some of the things you learn over the years that they've been giving people some hints that they could do. In the journal Dreaming, Aspie reports reality testing on its own produced no benefit. But of those who tried the combination of reality testing and mild, 53% had a lucid dream during the trial period, with 17% success, successful each night. He told ILF Science, this exceeds any previous study conducted without intervention, such as masks that shine lights in people's eyes on detecting REM sleep. Given the lack of of benefit from reality testing alone, Aspie acknowledged that lucid dreams may be entirely attributable to mild. M-I-L-D. He noted, however, his success rates exceed that of previous studies of mild, even those conducted by the inventor himself. Approximately 55% of people have a lucid dream at some point in their life. But for most people, these are rare. These are rare. Aspie himself became interested in lucid dreaming after having one as a child and changed his psychology PhD from studying nonverbal communication after having a lucid dream the night before he was to begin his doctorate. 
Most lucid dreamers initially wake quickly, but Aspey told ILF Science, IFL Science, with experience can learn to extend them for up to an hour. Aspey is seeking volunteers for further studies. When told IFL Science, he chose the one-week trial period in the hope of producing an effect quickly enough to be suitable for future studies of applications like treating nightmares. I love this article. I'm been tr- I've been slowly, you know, piecing my life together, getting things um, in order, so to speak, especially um, cognitively and working on things all the time. This is something I want to get back into. It is a little frustrating when you're working on so many things. Like if I'm in a good period of my life it's easier to adapt and to try to work on here and there but there are times when you can't um life is just beating you down or you're in the process of getting yourself together and even then we have these surprises we have a virus a misunderstanding of science it seems by our government and i think With time home, people in lockdown, it looks like numbers are going up. I started to focus more on my meditation and breathing techniques and thought I would start becoming a little more serious about lucid dreaming, especially with new studies, with the bridge between neuroscience and psychology. You find out that these things can be beneficial for your health, Maybe it's time to go back into it. Although, like I said, I do enjoy them from time to time because they come here and there. And I haven't had that um, instinct to know I'm immediately in it, which is something you build up by doing these little techniques they talk about. For people, it comes easy to, like me when I was younger. It is amazing. I love the feeling. There's a excitement. There's a, uh, a change it feels like to your body chemistry itself. I guess it's akin to maybe skydivers or a thrill, um, the love of horror movies to be scared, driving really fast. Maybe it's got something akin to that behavioral wise. But I'm not sure how long I'll keep it up, but I'll give it a try and see how close I can come to maintaining it on a regular basis. But I won't let myself be disappointed. I got a lot of things going on. As we all know, we're in a crazy time. Starting to get hot again. Well, it's time to get hot now. We've had actually pretty good weather, considering. All right. I think I'm done here. I wouldn't I would implore people to look into lucid dreaming. If it's something that has happened to them, maybe you caught yourself in these dreams and you're one of those people. Sometimes it comes easy to them. And even if it's not, if it's something you're interested in, if you're already into meditation and understanding how mindfulness and things like that work, give it a shot. Hope everybody's doing well, and I'll talk to everybody next time. Bye-bye.